Hello gentle people, welcome back to the channel, Jeff here. I skipped one week, as you've seen, I hope you don't mind. Uh, I was not exactly sure what to carve in the last uh, two weeks. Uh, I've carved a couple of things, but I didn't felt like uh, recording anything like this. Uh, I was trying uh, basically the new knives I got uh, from uh, a blacksmith uh, nicknamed Gloss of Steel on Instagram. Uh, from Russia Amazing knives. Uh, they carve so well. They're so sharp. It's so good uh, So I finally ended up making uh, this little uh, hooded figure if uh, you can see it Yep It's basically uh, a retake of a thing I've done in the past uh, basically This guy uh, but I had a little bit more skills, so I decided to, you know, uh, upgrade my carving, as you can see here. So, uh, this is what we will do today. Um, I hope you will enjoy, and uh, yeah, it should be simple enough if you've been following me along for uh, my little uh, journey into one year of carving. So, let's get cracking straight away. All right, so let's do the thing I always forget and is give you some measurement. So this is somewhere around seven and a half centimeter by 3.5 by 3.5 and in inches, it's three inches by one point a little bit less than 1.5 by 1.5 all right so let's start with a couple of line um i will do a little thing here for the the face shape Okay, then we'll remove a lot of wood on both sides to make the hood. Then another line below for the lower part of the hood. And then some arms like this. We'll only have one sword with this guy, it'll be easier. So, as usual, like I do my swords. Something like. Oh, something like this. All right, and we'll have the the buddy after, and then the belt, and we'll remove all the wood below here. And then it'll be the same thing for the back with the hood going on there, and then the arm. Make the arm bigger because yeah we can remove so yeah looks uh, simple as that okay so gloves on and then knife and then we remove wood so let's remove chunks of wood on each side like this then one shot on the front and then lots in the back I have this really disgusting thing here so I will make sure that I move the wood we can already round the top Simple as that. And I will just make sure I remove that already because I always forget and I do that in the end. The big piece of wood I got has a little bit of uh, things like this. Okay, so. Um, we have the lines here. I'll just make a stop cut, the below line for the hoodie. 
cut towards it on both sides. Just create some shoulders and then I will just pop that wood on each side. Alright. And then um, we will just remove the corners on each side. Remove a lot of wood in the back. Okay, something like that. Cool. We can just flatten the front a bit also. It's better to hold. Um, I think we can go straight into just we won't do the face yet, but just to have the general shape of the hood. I'll just uh, go and <coughs> do some sort of shape like this. Remember the middle part is here. Something like that. Following that line on that side. We can go fairly deep. And then whatever preferred technique you have to uh, basically remove towards that. I never really know. I can go there or I can just follow along like this. Just always be aware of where the point of your knife is so you don't carve inside. You can go little by little. We'll come back again later just to... Uh, right now it's just to give a general shape for the head. Where the head will be. These knives are amazing. They carve so well. Okay, so we have the the depth just a little bit. So we'll do the same thing following that line for the beard. The difference here is that we'll we'll not go in here because the hood is going under the beard so from this side we'll carve towards the beard like that like this good so let's go on with the hood. Stop cut again from the little part you had before. And then we'll carve towards it. So you can see that uh, the face is inside the hood. Then we can go straight in the back, I think. We'll probably have to remove more wood anyway, but uh, you can draw a line here or go like however you feel like. Hoodie or not symmetrical when you wear them most of the time because of the fold and everything so that's really up to you you might know me at this point i just love to eyeball pretty much everything okay so we got the hood um all right so we'll leave that thing for later because that's the face uh 
let's go do uh, the arm. So we'll do uh, stop cut both side. Make sure you don't go too far with that side because of the sword. Can go and do that already. So I just go on and remove a chunk of wood here following the step cut. And then same thing on this side. See that the hoodie is higher on one side. I guess that'll be fine. Then remove the wood here for the sword. Create the shape of the body. All right. We'll keep that here. We'll make the um, the belt, and then that'll be easier to. Uh, so where we draw the bottom of the arm, let's make a big step cut and remove that wood. Okay. And let's go in the back. Step cut. Same thing. There we go. And then I didn't put a line on that side. I'll make a step cut here. And then stop cut in the back. There we go. Okay, so all that wood, well, I'll do, I'll do the sword. Stop cut under it. And then we'll remove that wood. All right, so let's pop everything here. That's all useless wood. Remove on one side, then remove to the other. And pop it again. All right. Same thing on that side here. Good. Almost look like a shape is getting here. Let's move a little bit more for the sword. Okay. Good. Let's uh, move a bit more wood. There we go. Just to make sure we have uh, more depth in the arm right here. We'll fix that later. Or now. Okay. So we have both arms and the back and everything. Cool. Um, we could probably remove a bit more wood. I would make a triangle here. Go deep here, deep there, and then remove a lot of wood. Uh, that'll create some depth. Uh, let's go and uh, well, let's flatten that thing a bit. Remove more wood here. That's uh, don't want this chest to be that big. There we go. Okay. He's a uh, pretty uh, unused. It's pretty flat here, but uh, we'll. Uh, We'll see that with the belt, so 
I should like the belt to go from the start of the hand all the way to the other side. Maybe we could uh, move that a bit even. And then, um, depending on how you like, I prefer to do V cuts, but we can do stop cut also. So let's do stop cut this time. Following that line for the belt. And then another one below. Alright. So we'll carve towards that belt from both sides. Be careful, if you put too much strength, the belt will break. So it's a bit too square. But we will fix that. Okay. We have the belt, but it's really, really square. So uh, I'll make, I'll pop it up, make it a little bit more rounded, fix the torso a bit. So this is flatter than here. So I'll try to make it kind of look the same, more flat plane like. Or it's more like it. Kind of like the sharp angle. Here I'll bring back the shoulder inside on both sides. Okay. And since we have the belt now we'll do the same thing that we've done on the other side with the sword. So deep cut and then we just remove that corner and I'll create more shadow. But I really made ugly cuts here sadly. So I said earlier when it's important to know the, um, the depth of the tip of your knife. I don't really like that part here. Just remove it a bit. Okay. There we go. So all that wood in the front here is kind of ugly. So we'll remove that but we need to keep the sword in mind. So just to make the blade really triangle. I'll remove that part here. Okay. So the sword is, uh, has a normal shape. And then move with. This part is tricky, so we'll go deep, deep, and then go in slowly. There we go. Then remove that. In front, flat that, flatten that thing. Okay. Okay, let's carve in. All right. Fixing the belt a little bit. It's a bit too big here, so I will uh, thin the belt a bit. Okay. Just about to cut here. Good. So that's where we're at. We have the pretty much a general shape. Um, man, that arm is really ugly. I'll fix it later. Okay, so let's do just the belt in the back. So, uh, well, let's see if the back looks great. It's getting it's getting in here. So for the butt, I think it's fine. We'll just keep on the line. All the way to the other side. Okay. I'll stop cut. There we go. Same thing here. I like having the line at the same height as the hand. It's just easier to cut. I 
because the little corners are a bit uh, annoying to remove. So since we have the belt now, we'll do the same thing on this side to create more depth. On the corner. All right, same thing here. Good. Okay, so we have the belt in the back also. We can go straight and uh, maybe do the bottom part or... I would love to have this little fold that I have in the, in the belt already. So I'll just cut a little square like this and remove the wood on both sides. Pretty ugly, but I'll fix that now. And then on that side, be careful of the tip of the knife, like I said before. There we go. So we have a little fold on the belt, and then just pop that wood. There we go. Okay. Um. What now, what now, what now? Um, let's make the sword. Should be one stop cut and another little stop cut. And then you carve to it and through it on this side. That creates the guard. And then just remove that. And then same thing here. Okay, I feel that it's not deep enough here, so I'll remove more wood under. There we go. Okay, so we got the guard. So for the hand, it should go up and around. So we'll do little v-cuts following this line then one this side okay so what I want to have is uh, I want to have the hand following the sword so I will do a big cut here moving that wood so now it's a uh, one line and I want to have the pummel so what I will do is here we'll remove that part of the hand and the back. Be careful here, doesn't take that much to break everything. Alright. And we'll fix the belt later here. And then here, just a little cut. Do it slowly, little by little. It's a really small detail. Okay. So you see the, the pummel is out of the hand now. I don't care about fingers for this one. All right, so now let's fix that belt here. So we have more wood. Kind of created a little annoying part to cut though, but we'll make do. Okay, it's in the back. Nobody looks at the back, right? Um, I'll remove that part of the wood here for the arm. Ouch. And then same thing here, just to remove the sharp corner. Alright. So this big arm on this side, 
Uh, we'll just have a big hand, I guess. Same height, kind of. Do the same thing it's just there's no pommel obviously so we'll just remove a big part of the this wood here do it slowly because that everything will pop all right and we should have to build here a bit of a mess. Surround everything. Okay. This sign. Two hands and the arm. I will just fix my the mess that I've done here. Good. Okay. Let's create more depth. In the front here. All right. So we have the sword. We have the hands. I'll just remove the middle layer. Of wood from the panza. Then I will round the corners of the sword. Both side. And let's do the same thing with the guard and the hand. Good. Okay. Let's just make sure that the belt and the hand are not one thing. Great. Uh, I'll fix that already. So I think everything is too much in the front now, but. Uh, Fix that now. Okay, so front is pretty much done for the moment. Um, let's go with the face. Um, I will remove a little bit more wood. On both sides. So, we want a big nose. So 
still would make a big nose. I just draw a square, well, rectangle mostly, and then I cut on both sides. Hop. Hop. And then I'm going to cut in below. Then move wood towards it. Same thing on this side. It's a bit trickier because I'm in an angle. Okay, so I will remove the wood at the top in an angle like this. Now just remove below up, so now the nose has pop out. The deeper you go, the more shadow you will have, which is pretty cool. Okay. So now the cheek, I uh, basically create a V cut on this. Well, I will mark a line for you, but uh, I create a V cut like this, another one like that. Same thing on the outside. A small V cuts. And then um, one here, like that. I'll do the same thing on this side. And then on this side here. All right. Now I will do a big cut everything there we go it was way too way too pointy for me okay looks better now and uh, okay so uh, let's just do the sad face I carve this and I remove the wood from below. Gonna create a mustache at the same time. Be careful here, same as usual. If you go too quick, too strong, you might just break everything. Okay, so here we have, he has a big mustache. That's pretty cool. Um, we'll give him an under lip. So I do a stop cut from a corner to the other. So here, V cut, not V cut, sorry, a uh, stop cut on a corner like this, then removing more wood, just to make the, the hood uh, pop a little bit more. Okay, that's a, that's a big hoodie that this guy has. I think I'll try to remove a bit more wood. Okay. We're pretty much done. Well, almost done. So uh, let's create the hoodie shape. We'll remove a lot of wood, especially at the top. Good. Uh, 
I'll just remove all the band sockets. Let's make it a little bit deeper here. Same thing, just removing the, all the so texture. Okay. Good. <coughs> uh, I'll do more cuts here. All right. I just want to get in in the words. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Can do some sweep cut. All right. Cool. Uh, I want to have a little fold in the back for the. The hood, just remove all that ugly wood again. The other side, also, especially in that side. I remove too much depth. Okay, good. So we'll just do a V cut in the middle here. We can go fairly deep. A little bit on the side too, like that. All right. So you see it kind of creates a little folded shape. I think I'll go a little bit deeper. Okay. Good. And I'll make another one just below somehow because I feel like it. Let's create more, uh, more texture. I'll do another one here on the side to kind of create some sort of a shoulder, like if the hood is putting itself on top of the, sh the shoulder. Good. He has a big back. Let's remove that corner here. I don't like it. He has a bit too big of a back, I think, so I'll thin that down. Maybe that was a bit too much. I don't know. Yeah, it was a bit much. Uh, the, the belt. Okay. Good. Okay. Well, the arms are a bit too big. Cool, let's make the bottom of the whatever cloak he has. Um, we'll basically just make a line around. I'll just V cut my way through around. You can also stop cut and curve to it. Okay. And then at this side, I think I'll just curve through that. Okay, so um, let's remove 
So I'm moving here. Be careful to not pop the sword. But I'll make the sword bigger. Then I will move that little part here. Okay. So in the back, in the middle, little stop cut and put the wood on both sides. So we can sort of see feet. Come on. There we go. Okay, so that's a puffy, puffy cloak. Uh, yeah, let's see the front right there. These guys don't have that crazy, crazy feet. Um, are we done? Um, I don't think so. Let's remove that a little bit more. So let's create a little texture with the um, <coughs> with the belt. So I just do diagonal V cut basically to create some sort of a pattern in the belt. Once again, be careful. If you go too far, too deep, too quick, you will just probably pop everything. There we go. <coughs> uh, I don't really think we need anything else than that. Well, obviously the, the signature cut. Let's not forget that part. The little triangle and the beard. Two on both sides this time. Let's fix my little cut that I've done. All right. I think that's it. I have pretty much everything that we needed to do. Well, we could uh, just maybe remove the sharp corners and everything. Great. Just remove the little corners of the nose so it Looks more like a nose like this. And then there's a pencil line here. Good, and a good old brush. Draw here. And that's it. Got our little guy. So here it is. Here's our little uh, dude with uh, the hooded figure with one sword. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was simple enough. Um, I think if you've been following my carving for quite some time, uh, it's, uh, you know, big cuts, a uh, small little detail here and there, but uh, fairly quick to do. Um, I tried a new way of filming. I hope it's better for you um, while talking along the carving also um, you know I jump from uh, one way to the other <laughs> depends on my mood I guess so yes I hope you enjoyed and uh, if you have any question or anything leave a comment below 
and uh, we will see each other in the next video. Bye-bye.